Okay, today we're going to learn how to use grep to take this list here, which you can see is in uh, last name first, first name last order, and flip it around. So we have first name first and last name last. And of course, you want to get rid of the comma there. So first thing you might want to do is you might want to put this in alphabetical order. Well, let me zoom back out. I'm going to select all the paragraphs by doing Control or Command A. And we're going to go to Scripts. So we'll go to Window, Utilities, Scripts. And then over here in Scripts, what I'm using, uh, I'm using under Samples, I'm using JavaScript. Uh, JavaScript is cross-platform. So go all the way down the list here till we find Sort. Paragraphs. So here we go. Sort paragraphs. Double click on that. We can just say OK. And there you go. So now you see all the names are in alphabetical order. All right. So now we're going to go to grep and flip these around. OK. So here's our list in alphabetical order. Now we're going to go to grep to work on this and flip it around. Now the easiest way to get to grep you know, grep is part of the find change dialog box. It's just to do control F or command F. So for find, F for find. Here we go. Now, what is the pattern that we need to find? So we need to find any character one or more times, a comma, a space, and any character one or more times again. Now, we want this in, in uh, two pieces here, so we need to section off the first name and the last name, so we'll put those in parentheses. So let me zoom in over here. Uh, we use open parentheses. Now, any character is also easy to remember. It's just a period, but in order to find that, you can go to your special characters over here, go down to wildcards, and we can see any character and if you select that, it puts a period in over here. Now, also, how many times? So we want it to be one or more times. So that one's also an easy one to remember. It's just a plus sign. But again, you can also find it over here. Go down the list, repeat one or more times. And you see it puts in a plus sign. So let's close the parentheses. So there's the first, the first name that we see. Uh, then we need to put in a comma and just type in a space. Now, the second part is the same as the first part. So actually, we can just copy this. Control or Command C, come over here. Control or Command V. Okay, now whenever you're working with grep, it's a good idea to see if it's finding what you want it to find. So let's click Find Next. Okay, so found the first name on the list, second name, third name. So it's finding what we want it to find. Now, what do we want to change it to? Uh, well, what we want to do is we want to take the first name that it found and put that last and find the second name that it found and put that first. Okay, so how do we put in a found text two? So we want found text two first and found text one second. So these are pretty easy to remember also. So found text two would just be dollar sign two and found text one would be dollar sign one. But those are also in the special characters here. So now we're in change two. Uh, we'll go down the list, found, found text two you can see is dollar sign two. So then we could type in a space. So found text one, we don't even have to look. It's just going to be dollar sign one. And we're going to search the story. All right, so now let's see if it worked. So found next, change. Okay, found it. Let's try another one. Okay, we'll do change and find. Okay, so it's working. So once you're confident it's working, we can say change all. Okay, now let's say you want to go the other way around. Actually, it's just a slight modification to what we have already. So this is your found text one. This is your found text two. So actually, the change we want to make is the same. The only thing for the find, uh, we want to get rid of this 
the comma there, because there's no comma there now. So let's just delete the comma. And then down here in the change to, uh, we want to put the comma down there. All right, so let's see if it's doing what we want it to do. So find next. Okay, let's, let's start at the beginning. So I'll put my cursor in the beginning. Find next, change. Okay, there we go. Let's try again. Find next. Let's do change and find. Change and find. Okay, so it's working. So let's do change all. Okay. And there we go. We can close that. We got everything we need. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you again. Bye-bye.